Hmm. So, so what do you think of the system of the uh, situation in Europe right now, as far as political parties? We uh, just had the huge uh, right wing win for um, for Italy, and uh, I think it looks good. What, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not as well versed on European politics as you all are. Uh, I guess I'm more versed than a normie, but um, I, I think that uh, the the wave of populism and just the the increased awareness of identitarianism uh, going across Europe right now is is a sign of the future. And the more that the left pushes, the more that and, you know, I say the left, uh, the more the J left pushes. Um, oh, <laughs> the, the more <laughs> the more they push, uh, the the more um, these identitarian movements and uh, nationalist movements and populist movements. And, you know, it, these are all names for the same thing. Um, and, and that's why I say libertarians are pre-woke. Uh, all of these people are starting to understand uh, the issues. Uh, they just don't get the complete picture yet. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think some of them get the complete picture, though. Like the guy who is just elected governor of Lombardy, which is in um, northern Italy, where he said that we must defend the white race, like along those lines. I know I'm massively paraphrasing. And did he yeah. win in a landslide after saying that? Oh, yeah, he won in a landslide too, which is e even better, to be honest. There, there are some asterisks on that, that it's a uh, coalition victory, and I'm not sure how... Oh, oh no the the governor's seat was um that that was just a single party victory so oh, that's okay. even better. Mm -hmm. Okay, well yeah yeah yeah. I mean, can you imagine running for that in uh, somewhere in the union? I, I mean, that would be uh, that'd be insane. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the uh, situation in Brazil too. You all were talking earlier how it's went. You know, like the the situation there is like left and far left. But it's actually created a lot of uh, reactionary, far right wing libertarians, uh, Hoppians, and stuff like that. Uh, Hoppa is as popular in Brazil, or actually probably more popular in Brazil than in America uh, mm. now. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. It's really encouraging. Yeah, yeah so you have a huge amount of in Brazil because, well, the, all they know is uh, Fifty Shades of Red over there. We were saying earlier that Brazil's p political landscape has gotten to the point where you have a choice between different brands of extreme left politics. You have nothing else. And, like, the centrist party or the center-left party are just called Nazis. Wait, just um, curious. What are the demographics of the Hoppians in Brazil? They're mostly in the South, and <laughs> as you could expect. Oh, okay. So white. I, I figured. <laughs> the South is is pretty white in Brazil, and they mm -hmm. have a large um, movement to secede from Brazil because Brazil, the rest of Brazil, is just a parasite class on them. Oh yeah, it, it really is. And it, it's, it's a shame that crime ridden. It, it's a shame that Brazil is in the state that it's in. I mean, who knows what could be really done about it. Mm. Well, um, wolves come to mind. Uh, yeah. You know, speak, speaking of the whole Hoppian reaction to, um, you know, the fact that Brazil is a leftist shithole and a multicultural one, in Iran, there's like, you know, some identitarian groups. Now, I'm not sure how big they are, and I've, I've heard about these groups from, you know, one guy before where he said that, you know, there's more identitarian groups because the Iranian government has pushed ethnic mixing and, um, you know, a lot of Iranians are crypto uh, Zoroastrians. So some of them aren't really big fans of Islam. So you have that going on that I found interesting. Mm. Yeah. I've heard about that, that there's a little bit of a, you know, revival movement in, uh, in Persia and Iran I know that that they've actually been able to keep their eternal flame, um, the Zoroastrian eternal flame, alive for several thousand years. 
But, like there's mm-hmm. been a guy tending this one fire in uh, in Iran despite the, the the Islamic conquest, which is pretty impressive. 